What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Um, so yeah, I am finally back in Canada, actually freezing my butt off because it is very, very cold here and I think I got really used to the uh, south and uh, midwest US weather, especially being out in the, in, the, in the desert. You know, obviously in Arizona it was like 25 degrees Celsius and then we come back here and during the day it's like maybe three degrees and about to get a hell of a lot colder. Um, so yeah, today I decided to come hang out with my friend Ethan and we're like, oh, let's go check out some abandoned houses. And we actually came across this one. This one is actually going to be demolished. I believe it was built in 1987. And uh, some developer bought it. They're going to probably tear it down within the next, you know, three to six months or whatever. And then build something basically brand new. have no idea why. It's just like a thing that happens here in this specific part of Ontario. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty cool. I'm going to explore it a little bit and show you guys. Uh, what it is that we find we're going to be basically doing this all night um probably until very very late so we'll see how many we end up getting through this is literally just the first one i think there's actually a few more in this area to look at um, that ethan re highly recommends honestly i'm just doing this for fun because we've been doing a lot of randonautica lately and uh the road tripping is just it's a lot of fun don't get me wrong and i love making awesome content for you guys and uh experiencing all these different things but i am exhausted and honestly i still want to continue making some some good content at least for the vlog channel in the meanwhile i got a whole bunch of banked videos on the main channel ready to go for you so you guys are going to see those over the next couple of weeks um, but in the meanwhile i just want to get back to you know a little bit of old school exploring hence why i wanted to come out with my friend ethan also go and follow him i'll leave his link down in the description below you'll probably see him also roaming around filming his own video um, he does this all the time he finds a lot of really cool very unique houses some built you know some that are newer some that are older um, it's a good mix but yeah, smash like button and uh, let's have a little bit of fun on this adventure. All right guys, so uh, we are starting out here in the basement. Um, there's not a whole lot going on down here. Majority of the house is fairly empty. There's a few random odds and ends, as you can see, that are just kind of leftovers. Uh, we'll take a look at... Uh, what the heck, this door is actually locked? That's weird. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, we got a washroom. Um, there's a big box to a TV left over down here. Nice fireplace over there. Fairly large house and uh, in really, really good shape. Funny thing is obviously the lights are on upstairs. I was actually trying to flip the switches down here, but can't seem to... Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Look at that. Amazing. So the power has not been cut yet. Um, all the lights actually still work which is fun got a uh, cool looking bar back there the old ping pong table still left behind which is funny there's like a little mini fridge back here really cool very 80s style the colors the designs everything the old fireplace over there um, and it's all going to be disappearing soon I imagine this house doesn't have uh, too long left to live, realistically, until they decide to completely uh, tear it down. What is that? Looks like there's something here. Shebag IOM Firth. Oh, it's like a little horse. Just chill in there. The leg is broken. Alright, cool. Time to head on upstairs and uh, see what else this place has in store for us. Well, considering I don't really need much light anymore, um, <laughs> turn that off so we can just kind of have the natural lighting. So here is the uh, front entrance, the old front doors, nothing uh, too crazy. There's a uh, room over here, I'm just going to need some light for that for a second. Old cabinetry. Looks like there's an old, what is this, a jacket? I guess somebody didn't want their uh, jacket anymore. They just left it behind. But the, uh, the stairs are pretty cool. I like the ceilings, how everything is like slanted. Lots of windows too. Got an old little uh, toy here for a child. Another fireplace. Huh, 
Wow. What'd you find in here? Look at this stove. <laughs> All right, let's see uh, what's back here. Oh, we got another fireplace. Clearly you, clearly you can see all the furniture is still here. I honestly don't think it's been too long since people lived here, but they are uh, clearly long gone at this point. I imagine because the developer owns it, they probably don't care too much about it. Such a shame. It's actually a nice house. Got uh, ye old laundry machines. Closet over here with uh, oh, what is this? Looks like we got an old. Looks like a filing cabinet, but I don't think it is. Oh, it's like old cardboard or something. Weird. <laughs> and it appears to be empty. Unfortunately, nothing in it. It's wild that they left the. Uh, the laundry machines here. Got a, uh... oh, I was wondering what the hell that noise was. So there's clearly another entrance to the basement. Might actually be like a different side from what, uh, what we just saw. Oh yeah, this just looks like it actually just goes to the furnace room. There's a uh, jacket chilling here. There's a box. My bad. <laughs> I'll put that back up in a second. These are obviously all empty. But uh, yeah, we got another jacket here. We got, uh, I don't know what that is. What the heck? What is that? Looks like it might actually be some sort of. I don't even know. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, the furnace is literally still running, which is wild. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I got the uh, switch for the furnace. The house is actually pretty warm. Like it's, uh, it's not running on super high, but the house is actually being heated, which is kind of nice for us at the very least. Okay. So I've uh, decided to come check out the garage. Really not too much in here, apart from random odds and ends and kind of leftovers. We got this thing, it's like a little little thing to hold a like a baby. Got ladders. There was an attic. Well, not really an attic, but at least like a sort of like a crawl space. I'm not gonna go in it because there's probably nothing there. Because clearly they went up there and probably took everything out already. Let's uh, take a look at what else is in this house. The kitchen's pretty cool. I like that. Very, very old school. They even got this uh, little TV here. Vizio. Probably still works. Old, old appliances. Built-in oven. <laughs> probably still works too. Would not be surprised. Look at that. So old. And I think that's pretty much it for the main floor. Um, obviously the chandelier there has been changed. Let's head on upstairs and uh, see what might be up there. Actually, I'm going to check this closet first. You never know, I might find a little surprise. Uh, nope, nothing. No light in here? There's no light in there? The master bedroom doesn't have a light. There's no way. I swear to God, Unless there was like a chandelier and they just took it. There's not even a spot where there would have been a light. Oh. Well, good oh. thing I have that light. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so it's so weird. What the hell? It's yellow. Yeah, very yellow. Very, very yellow. I guess maybe they had like wall sconces or something? Yeah, that's what it could have been. I mean I don't really see anything that would have been wall sconces. That's odd. Um, several bedrooms. Got one washroom here. It's such a shame sometimes when you come into places like this and they're actually pretty nice homes and they're 
going to just end up being destroyed very soon. Got a bathroom and a stand-up shower. And it's not even the master either. This is kind of funny. We noticed this because we did kind of breeze through the house a little bit, but you can see somebody named Jackie in 97, 96, 94. They were measuring themselves. See how they were uh, growing, I guess. That's funny. And it's been there pretty much ever since. Well, so I guess this was obviously one of the kids' rooms. Little closet here. Another bedroom. And I think there's like one more bedroom this way. And I actually want to just take a look at the uh, master washroom. Just to see what it looks like. Oh, another one of these charts. This one is for Chelsea. December of 99. One of these old chairs that was... Uh... Kitchen. Oh yeah. yeah. Why is it here? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Strange, right? Yeah. Oh, this one's got uh, his and hers closets. Some stuff on the floor here. Just looks like a bunch of chunks of wood, a little duster. And I think that might be pretty much it. Oh yeah, here's the uh, the washroom. Look at the lights work in here. They do. Look at that. Beautiful. Pretty awesome. You got the stand-up shower. You got the uh, big bathtub over there. I wonder if the water still runs. Oh, it does. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it's not often that you come to... Uh, an abandoned house and the water literally still works. There's literally still soap there. That's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> Everything still runs. Pipes are still running. Alright, cool. I guess that's pretty much it for this house. Yeah, I'm probably going to combine like a few of these all together just so you guys can get an idea um, just because there's like a whole bunch of different ones honestly we're just you know doing it for fun um, you know I do actually enjoy doing this and obviously spending time with my friends in you know kind of my off season a little bit I mean not really in off season also update we're gonna do uh, a really really cool haunted location in two days it's actually uh, we're gonna be heading out to a pretty far area we have an abandoned jail we have booked so we do have permission to go there um, we're going to investigate because apparently it is supposed to be quite haunted. It is courtesy of Elliot. Really looking forward to seeing him and uh, doing that location with him. And I think Brad is going to be joining us as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. Something to look forward to. Anyways, we're going to get out of here very shortly and uh, head on to the next location. So we will see you guys there. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so, Ethan has brought me to this house. Weird house. There's actually three houses that are similar like this. They are massive <laughs> apparently they're worth what did you say six million six million, six million a piece and uh it looks like they're gonna probably be, be probably be torn down just about any day now funny thing is they were only built in like 2004 and like this is me like this is move in ready um so i'm gonna pack my bags and just move in here um and live for free essentially the power still works i don't know about the water let me actually try this out because i'm just very curious now nope we have no water very little but there's no pressure in the lines whatsoever that actually does kind of run but yeah no pressure so um yeah i figured i might as well come and explore all three of these homes so it's probably going to take a little while uh, might be one or two videos i have no idea um but yeah this is absolutely insane so check it out so, starting out here kind of in the uh, foyer area, uh, I'll probably turn on some of the lights just so we can kind of see a little better, but look at this thing. This house is freaking crazy. Look at that staircase. Kind of looks almost like it's floating. Uh, I do have a couple things left in here, look at that. 
fireplace over there. This is probably like an office or something. Not quite sure, but it's a big house, that's for sure. Come back here into the kitchen so you guys can get an idea of just how freaking massive this place is. So much space. Like, look at the, the freaking counters. Like, they're not even that dirty. I don't even know when these people left. Couldn't have been long ago, though. Just wild. Got another fireplace here. All these uh, cupboards and whatnot. Hmm. Oh wow, look at that. We got lights. <laughs> wow. wow. So cool. Dude, I cannot believe they're gonna tear this down. Like, this is just so stupid. <laughs> I mean, like, I get it. So we, we were kind of like talking and figuring out like, why would someone destroy three of their custom homes? Like for what purpose? And then you said it, that they're a developer. They literally own their own homes apparently. And they're gonna apparently tear them down and probably build like 70 more homes and just sell them all for a million bucks a piece, right? So, that was that? Something like turn on? You heard that, right? Sounds like a washing machine. That's really weird, but yeah, so I'm kind of imagining like, you know, tear down 18 million, 18 million to sell houses for like 70 million. Like that's a pretty hefty profit, yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Kind of curious, like what the hell that noise was. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there for a second. Oh, my battery just turned off or light. There we go. That was weird. I mean, odds are it's probably just like a furnace or something kicking on. What the hell is that? <laughs> Maybe? Kind of sounds like a dishwasher, actually. <laughs> I think so? Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely the furnace. Whoa, what the hell happened in here? Holy crap. It's like tons of stuff in here. Whole security system and everything like uh, a bunch of stuff left behind. It's like just kind of odds and ends. Was. I think it's just this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Anyway, whole toolbox. Oh, yeah. Oh, it wasn't like this. No. Oh, looks like somebody's come through. Oh, Jesus! That's scared the scary. crap out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh look, look at these random pictures. It's a deer. <laughs> yeah. That's not a deer. I don't know what it is. There's the antler. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so, so it's like goes, three, three. Yeah. You put three of them. It is. Put them all side by side. Those are nice. Why throw those away? Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. So that was definitely the furnace. It sounds like a freaking dishwasher. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Beautiful freaking shower. Holy crap, man. The shower in the basement here is nicer than the one at my house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big ass freaking rooms everywhere. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> what? Okay. And a random blue couch. Okay, this is just freaking nuts. Oh, it looks like uh, we had some kids down here. This is obviously like a... Was it a kid's room or... I don't even know. Got little lights here. These lights are actually still on. Oh, and they're battery powered. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. They're still on. Yeah. Yeah, and they're battery powered too. 
That just shows you how Energizer is literally the best battery in the world. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Looks like a little living room back here. Whoa. Holy crap, dude. What <laughs> the hell? Now this is what I call the frickin' party room. Holy yeah. shit. Oh man. There's a bar. That's cool. Probably uh shouldn't show the names on these, I guess. Yeah. Let's not say. Oh, it actually doesn't even say the names, does it? Nope. It's just uh charity fundraiser tournament things. <laughs> I know, right? Like, dude, look how, like, this couch is freaking massive. This is expensive. Yeah. Like, like, why would you leave this here? I don't understand. But, uh, random stuff left behind over here. Just boxes of stuff over here. Whoa. Got some flowers. Got whatever this thing is. I don't even know what that is. Tack. What is that? Neo Smart. I'm not really quite sure what the hell that is. Old cash register. Probably still works too. Wow. This is just like unbelievable. Any booze back there or what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, how unfortunate. So I guess they had the, they probably had like a projector then. Yeah, because it would have been like mounted right there. Yeah, it would have just projected right there. What is this thing? It's a hover puck. I guess it's kind of like a, a crappy Roomba. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. actually quite a bit of stuff left in this place too. Looks like a rolled up poster, some other random stuff. And then that just goes back up. Oh yeah, we were in here already. Cool. I think the basement is like pretty epic as well. <laughs> wow. Might as well go up this way I suppose. I think there's some parts down here on the main floor that we probably missed. That's locked. Oh wow. Holy crap, four freaking car garage. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? A uh, license plate thing here for world's greatest dad. Wow. Bunch of stuff left behind there. I'm curious to like see what's there still. Let's go take a uh, look. I like how they have the uh, the floor done like this, a little bit grippy. It's kind of nice. Let's see what's in here. A tennis racket. Clothes. Probably shouldn't be kicking stuff around like that, but looks like, the rest looks like it's probably just garbage. Stuff they obviously just didn't want. So they just left it all behind. Wow, freaking nuts. So uh, walking back in here, I just <laughs> noticed that there's all these names here. Milo, Mario, Stefano, and Bianca. This is cool, I like the washroom. And this is the best part. <laughs> Motion sensors! <laughs> right? <laughs> so funny. Is this the laundry room, I'm guessing? <sighs> it smells like... What is that? Like cinnamon? <laughs> yeah. Like cinnamon smell. It's, it's like somebody was just here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's uh... 
take a look at the upstairs. Oh, look at that freaking skylight over there. Okay, so got one bedroom here. Like the uh, the frame is gone, but the headboard's still here. Box. Whoa! Look at this washroom. Wow, that's pretty cool. Huge bathtub. Nice wash. Walk-in uh, shower here. place is nice. Kind of feels so wasteful. It's unbelievable that people just get rid of stuff like this. There's a little balcony back here. I got jewelry polishing cloth and it's like brand new apparently. Look at that. Brazo metal polish. Okay. Look at this jewelry box. There's probably nothing left, but I literally just left a full ass jewelry box. Oh, there actually is jewelry in here. Just little kind of bits and pieces. Looks like just costume jewelry, anyways. Not really worth anything. What the hell? A whole purse. Shoelaces. Hats, or whatever that is, and I'm not sure what that's for. That looks kind of like a trimmer or something. I don't know. Theragun. The hell was that? <laughs> I don't know what Ethan's playing with, but oh my god, there's still freaking clothes in here. Some Zara. Okay, that's crazy. Man. He literally just. Oh, look at that. Louis Vuitton. I wonder if it was in there. It's probably uh, worth a pretty penny. It's obviously just a cover for a purse or something. I can't imagine finding a Louis Vuitton in a place like this. Uh, oh, we got a laundry room. I guess they made that a little obvious by putting laundry. <laughs> got a little uh, little TV. Some cleaning stuff. Clearly they had uh, they must have had some pets. Probably a dog. What else do we have in here? Oh, got a uh, whole mattress. Ooh, that's kind of gross. Wonder what the hell uh, happened in that mattress. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't even really want to know. And, uh, okay. Bunch of random pictures. One hat. And one empty closet, but very big closet. Uh, their washroom not as exciting as the other one but still quite nice yeah, I think there's one more room let's go take a look at that Man, it's like super windy outside it sounds like Not too exciting. I think I figured out why it still smells good in here. <laughs> you got these things. It's probably uh, making it smell pretty in here. 
And I think that's pretty much it for this house. Um, like I said, there's a couple more that we're gonna take a look at that are connected to this one. Looks like they just left a bunch of trash. What the hell? Oh, somebody dumped out a bag of Epsom salts. All Epsom salts. Can't speak apparently tonight. And yeah, looks like that's about it for this one.